Vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin, is one of the most important vitamins. You will see it everywhere in the clinical practice and in your medical school exams. It has many major functions all over the body. It's important for the development of our systems. It's also important for the myelination of the nervous system, which is the coating that is found around the nervous system. And if this coating is defective, it can cause all kinds of symptoms and problems in the nervous system. It's also important for the red blood cells and the exchange of oxygen and energy. And it plays a major role in the DNA synthesis. Vitamin B12 is a cofactor for two very important enzymes, the methionine synthase and the methylmalonyl coenzyme mutase. Because it's important for these two enzymes, if vitamin B12 is deficient, these enzymes will ramp up the production and will have more of these enzymes. And we can use this to diagnose the deficiency of vitamin B12. If you have high levels of these enzymes, this indicates that vitamin B12 is low. And that's another method to diagnose vitamin B12, and it's more efficient and less costly. It is mainly found in animal products and meats and livers. So people who are vegetarians or strict vegans well, are likely to have vitamin B12 deficiency. Vitamin B12, along with some other vitamins, require some factors synthesized in the, in the stomach to be absorbed. These intrinsic factors are made in the stomach and they travel all the way to the distal ileum or the last part of the small intestine where they absorb vitamin B12. So if somebody has deficiency in these intrinsic factors, they cannot absorb vitamin B12 at the last part of the small intestine or if somebody has a problem in the last part of the small intestine, they cannot absorb vitamin B12 even if they have sufficient intrinsic factors. And there's a lot of conditions that specifically target this area in the intestine, such as Crohn's disease, celiac disease, and some other conditions. Also, medications that affect the acidity of the stomach can also affect the production of these intrinsic factors and decrease the absorption of vitamin B12. Alternatively, if somebody has a surgery in the last part of the small intestine where they resect or remove the last part of the small intestine, this also affects the absorption of vitamin B12. The main symptoms are megaloblastic anemia, which is simply having less red blood cells. This is anemia, but the blood cells that are present are larger in size, and this is why we call them megaloblastic. The patient will also have many neural symptoms or nervous system symptoms because like we said, it's very important for the myelination of the nervous system. So expect the patient to complain of some nerve damage or numbness or weakness in the hand or grip, or sometimes they lose their movement or feel that their knees are giving out or where they're trying to reach for something, they cannot hold it very tightly. They also complain of memory loss, confusion and dementia and depression and maybe sometimes seizure. So it's mainly neural system. Keep in mind, most of these symptoms are reversible once the deficiency is corrected. We mainly find vitamin B12 in fish or shellfish, liver, like we said, and red meat, eggs, poultry, dairy products, and fortified foods. The recommended daily intake is 2.4 micrograms a day, and this increases to 2.8 micrograms a day if a patient was pregnant and lactating. Vitamin B12 is water soluble, which means that it goes in the water and it easily dissolves in the water. So if somebody eats too much vitamin B12, the body will take what it needs and will release the extra amount in the urine. So you shouldn't really worry about eating too much vitamin B12, but you should be worrying, worrying about eating too little. Up to a thousand micrograms a day is pretty much safe. Use the link below to get access to the full essential vitamins and minerals course. In this course, we'll talk about all the vitamins, the minerals, their important functions and deficiency symptoms. At the end of the course, you will be an expert in vitamins and essential minerals, as the course covers everything that you need to know.